This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakery 4's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be all right, Captain? I'll contact you later. choice. I wouldn't. Who's that? General Alma. As part of Kronos' militant faction, he tops the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all this. Fidel! Really? But how can that be? Sis! Imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not really a... What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Hold on. Just how do you expect to save little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve Faria for me. Vicky! I know that light. Activate the neutralization device. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here. We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Fidel! Really? Damn it! They seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakredians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... You may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Relia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fiddly? 
Yeah. I'll always follow your lead wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stall first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he jumped right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do recall when you guys took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said... These words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? Stop that blushing here. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was always another lance. Meaning my world lacked structure. I bet taking care of you is why I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're no longer... little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't wanna stay your sister any longer. Well then, I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I call you Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should, I should say that, not you.
Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. <laughs>
either. Laundry always dries so fast on beautiful days like this. Come to think of it, I haven't had a chance to actually do a proper load of laundry on the road. I want to bury my face like this in a blanket that's just been dried in the sun. Now I want to do the laundry. Oh, Emerson. Oh, 
Ah, Fiore's already here too. You're late. Sorry about that. At least you proved me right that you'd come. So you did come after all? We figured this whole thing started with us, so we should see it through to the end. Plus, we couldn't leave Relia or Feria like this. Has Victor arrived yet? No, he hasn't. Oh, I see. Well, he does have the most going on. What about you, Fiore? I'm going because it's apparently in my blood as a researcher to do so. Kenny to the Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle here. Delacroix! Whew, it's such a relief to know you're okay. As is the rest of the crew, sir. We're all back in action. So, what did you want? Transport the five of us up there. I detect one more person heading in your direction. What do you want me to do? One more? Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! It's Victor! Sorry to be so tardy. You made up your mind. Yes. I just submitted my request for leave. Change of plans. Make that six people to be mine. Six it is. No time to chat. We need to make for the bridge. Whoops. Wrong, Victor? You all right? I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting this entire room to start moving. The equipment at the Royal Institute surprised me, but this is something else. So, this is your new ship? You know it. Welcome to the latest in battleship technology. The Charles de Gaulle G. The previous one was a research vessel, whereas this one was built specifically for combat. 
Thus, it should prove more than capable of taking on Kronos' cruisers. I'm not sure I really get the difference, but both versions sound spectacular. What's the deal? The target is already well within the detection field of our ultra-long-range sensors. According to their data, the ship is heading for the Omphalos system at a speed of warp 14.3. Warp 14.3? That has to be some kind of mistake. It isn't. What's that mean? It means they can travel faster than us. This particular Charles de Gaulle is as advanced as Federation warship technology gets. It boasts a cruising speed of warp 11.2 and a top speed of warp 12.9. Despite all that, our adversaries leave us in the dust because they can travel at warp 14.3. That doesn't make sense. It's only a difference of 1.4, isn't it? A difference in warp speed of magnitude 1.4 equates to them being more than twice as fast as us. Moreover, we can't continuously operate at top speed. Cruising slows us down even further, meaning we could never hope to catch them as long as they keep going. Oh no! Gravitic warp time. That's impossible. The gravitic warp engine is still an experiment. It hasn't even undergone its 24-hour endurance test yet. A real-world deployment is tantamount to suicide. That alone doesn't make it impossible. It just makes it not the safest bet in the world. I've managed to establish contact with Dr. Krupp at Remote Station 5. You are too damn good at this. Long time no see, Doctor. Long time indeed, Captain. I hear that you've decided to take the Model G out for a spin. You are indeed a Kenny through and through. Sorry about that, but this ship's imperative to my mission. Well, it has to be tested at some point. Why not make it now? By the way, while I assume there's only one reason you'd contact me at this juncture, let me ask for the hell of it. What do you want? To use Gravitic Warp. Denied. You're allowed to go a maximum warp speed of 11, and that's only in spurts. You've got to be joking. That's slower than normal warp speed. There's a dangerously high probability that we won't be able to control all the creation energy required to activate the Gravitic Warp engine. Therefore, we're forced to use the normal warp engine for energy, resulting in the aforementioned lack of speed. As concise and accurate an explanation as ever, Miss Patriciani. I fail to see your issue, Captain. The normal warp engines aboard that cruiser are state-of-the-art. You can go plenty fast. Well, the Chrono ships have a cruising speed of 14.3. What? I was totally unaware they'd come so far with their technology. Fascinating. We've surmised that their tech is likely based on symbol metrics. Symbol metrics, huh? They do say it directly.